In this video, you'll get an overview of script mode. We'll look at the interface and talk a bit about both Wireware script and G-Code. For more in-depth info on using G-Code, see the G-Code demo shape video. After opening Wireware 2, click on script mode or select it from the drop-down menu at the top of the window. The interface has lots of information you'll want to keep in mind when creating scripts for your shapes. The material area shows what material profile you have selected from your library of material profiles. You'll also see some details about the machine settings from the profile that can be useful when prototyping. Since different materials have different properties, you can see your material's alloy and diameter here. The hardware should be set to match the diameter of your material, so this info is displayed here. Bend and feed velocities are displayed here. These are set in the material profile and may be changed depending on the diameter and alloy of your material. Feed velocities are typically displayed in millimeters per minute but can be switched to inches under the change unit setting in the edit drop-down menu. In this profile, you'll see that we're using 8,000 for both bend and feed velocities. This speed works great for eighth inch galvanized steel, but you'll need to adjust these numbers for different materials. Over here, you'll see a quick reference for wireware, script, and G-code. You can scroll down for more. Getting used to writing scripted shapes takes a while, but you can expect to pick it up pretty fast if you're using it regularly. The machine control bar down here is basically the same as it is in path mode. Home the machine when you open the software and after jams, and click the jog button to see the DRO. For more on the machine controls, look for our DRO video. When you want to manually control the machine, you can do this by holding down the control key or command on Mac, plus the arrow keys. Up and down control the X axis to feed forward or backward, Left and right will move the bend pins counterclockwise and clockwise. That's the A axis for the DIYer. If you have a pro, you'll use control plus the greater than or less than keys for raising and lowering the bend pin. That's the Z axis. Only the pro does this. For the plus, your pins will go up and down automatically and you should ignore the Z axis altogether. It's important to know that you have to click outside the script window in order to drive the machine manually. You can tell if the window is active if it has a blue outline. Okay, this is where you write your scripts. Script mode allows you to use both G-code and our wireware commands. The main difference is that wireware commands use the material profile you have selected to deal with springback, but G-code doesn't. They're both powerful ways to drive the machine and both will require a process of iteration for perfecting your bends. Let's start with wireware to script. This is a conversational script that allows you to use intuitive commands that take your material profile into account to compensate for springback. That means if you say bend 90, the software looks at what angle you would need to move the bend pin to in order for the output to be a 90 degree angle after springback. And then it sends the appropriately adjusted G code to the bender. You can also set up a repeat loop to make many short bends. This is the best way to produce a smooth curve. More on that in another video. Here's what a short loop would look like in the middle of a script. You can write in a text editor and copy paste into Wireware 2. It's useful when perfecting a curve. You'll notice that the capitals don't matter and you can mix in G-code. Just remember that G-code skips the compensation for your material profile. For G-code, you simply use a few standard G-code commands you'll recognize from any CNC. Since you only need to know a handful of commands for the bender, you may find yourself writing G-code like a machinist in no time. The video on using G-code to get complex curves will go into details about individual G-code definitions, and the workflow demo videos can get you started as a beginner. Some quick tips for script mode. You can highlight specific sections of script and use run selected script to execute commands in blocks. Once you have a shape you like in path mode, you can export it as G-code, then open it into script mode. You'll get to see how Wireware 2 compensated your angles, and each bend and feed will be noted as comments in the G-code. Check out our demo shape videos if you want to see more about making shapes with script mode.